compound beam a beam consisting of smaller components that have been assembled and fastened together to function as a single unit the beams are connected by internal hinges this beam here one part of beam is a and second part of beam beam is df so there are two beams and they are connected by one internal hinge c how many reaction we have at we have one reaction at a one reaction at d and one reaction at f so we have three unknown one is ay one is dy and one is fy ay dy fy three unknown now this beam has no common part so this one is one beam and this one is second beam it has a common letter c so c is hinge hinge is shown by dark circle how many unknowns here one is ay one is cy is fy normally we avoid this type of figure rather than this we use line diagram so this line diagram and this one they are same this time also we have one beam that is abc and second beam is cd and this c is common so this must be the hinge point they will mark a circle over it a dark circle where you find a dark circle that is called as hinge how many unknowns for abc unknowns or two unknown two unknown one is ay one is dy and how many unknowns for cd only one that is dy to solve for dy then only consider cd part and a rotate beam about c rotate to only consider this part what is this part c d e because we have only one unknown and then show the force here so will this beam will go like this correct and then find out dy once you finish with dy then you come to the abc part but when you solve for abc you have to consider entire beam that is this complete beam that is a b c d and e okay now when you consider abc check here how many unknowns one is ay one is by and one is dy to find out ay and by you have to consider the complete beam when you have to consider the complete beam you first consider only ac part don't focus on the other part first so only draw this portion so if you show ay then is the rotation is permitted about b for this one how many unknowns one is ay one is by forget about this part temporary if you want to find out ay show deflection at point ay that is reaction at ay and rotate about b since the support b is at center half portion will come upward half portion will come downward now once you finish this activity then this point c you have to start from this point okay now connect it here now this time we have dy no displacement at a b c and d a b c d a b and d no rotation is permitted now just imagine this one that suppose this part go downward and rotation is done about d then will the e will come upward is that correct so your beam will be go this way when you have to find out ay now similarly if you want to by you have to find out by so rotate about a first then only first part you have to show now c has come here so connect the c first like this rotate about this now this part will go this way matlab ek part mein nahi karna hai do part mein karna hai so in this one we have a beam a b c d and second point beam is d e f g two beams and we have internal hinge at d first of all you identify beams we have two beam one is a b c d and second beam is d e f g now identify reactions for them reaction at this point is a y reaction at this point is by 
reaction for the second part is only at F. It means that you have to solve the problem in two steps. And the rotation for AY is about B, for BY about A and for this one rotation is about H. And when you have to solve one reaction only consider this part. And when you have to solve for AY, BY, you have to solve for complete beam. To find out FY, consider beam D, E, F, G. So draw here beam D, E, F, G. You want to find out FY, so show FY as per your assumption. To find a Fy, rotation is about H, hinge at D. So rotation about this point. So you have to do, hold your pen at point D, apply this force and check that. Will the beam will go this way? If the beam will go this way, we have one force at E, so we will show one displacement. We have one force at 15, at G we will show this one. And one displacement is this one. Call this displacement as delta E, this one as delta F, this one as delta G, this angle is del theta, distance between D and E is 1.5 meter by del theta, del theta is tan theta. First is del E divided by 1.5, second is del F divided by total distance is 3 upon adjacent. This one is delta G, for delta G adjacent is 3 plus 2 that is 5. So external forces, at point E we have 40 and at this point we have 50. Now apply principle of virtual work. The direction is opposite, sin is minus. If the direction is same, positive. If the direction is opposite, negative. Substitute. Minus 40. Multiplied by 1.5 of del theta. Plus dy. Into 3 times of del theta. Minus 15. Into 5 times of del theta. Equal to 0 and solve for dy first. To find ay dy, consider entire beam from A to G. Now to find ay ABCD and rotate about now where to rotate? That answer is given here. If you want to find out A, Y, you have to rotate about what? B. B is middle point. If you have to rotate about middle point, then half portion will come above and half portion will go below. So first you draw this part. For this portion, this will go upward, this will go downward and this will go downward. So first of all, this distance is 2 meter. This angular displacement is del theta. This angular displacement is opposite is also equals to del theta. Del theta is clear? Now, first of all, I will write down del theta. So del theta equals to. Is it del A divided by 2? Del A divided by 2. Del C divided by 1.5. Del D divided by. Sorry. For remaining part. D, E, F. D, E, F, G. Support ka hai? F ke part. Rotation is always permitted about what? Support. Support of second part at F. So rotate about F. So first of all I will draw this dotted line here. Now this part that is this DG part board check karege. 
this one dg part d is coming downward you have to rotate about f it means that you have to show your figure this way this portion is go downward and this portion will go upward about which point f point it means that e point has moved downward and g point has gone upward naturally whatever the angle made by this one is different so we call this as del phi and del phi these two angles are different angles now what is the difference between what is the linear distance between f and g is 2 meter so in my problem i have two unknown one is del theta and one is del phi so let me write first del phi what is del phi this value is delta g delta g divided by what 2 delta g divided by 2 this one is delta e so delta e divided by how much 1.5 and this one is delta d delta d equal to what divided by 3 now i want to find out relation between del theta and del phi so can we conclude that this term is common to both my first term says that delta d is it equal to 3 times del theta says that 3 times del phi what is del d for this one 3 times del phi and what is del theta is 3 times del theta so can i conclude that del theta is same as del phi and it's a confirmation now is this del d is this del d is common to both del phi and del theta only one value rest is not common del c is common del c is common to both or only del d is common only del d is common del e is common or del e is defined with this. now where this force will act at point c so this one is 20 this one is 40 this one is 50 and this react ay i principle of virtual work now see the first combination is positive see the second combination is positive no force at d so skip it this 40 and d is positive combination and this 15 and del g is equals to 0 now to select value from delta theta and delta del phi ay ay is defined for del theta only is 2 times del theta plus 20 del c is defined for del theta 1.5 plus 40 delta e is defined in terms of del phi minus 50 delta g delta g is defined for del phi del theta is same as del phi so cancel out and solve for a1 answer is minus 30 we will not final anything two answers are over so i will modify here this answer is ready for me minus 30 now i still want to find out what by to find out by consider entire beam constructed in two parts first part is this part on which this force has been shown that is a b c d this time rotation is permitted rotation is permitted about a and you have to find out b y so show b y you have given this displacement so will this part will go this way agree this value equal to delta b this value equal to delta c and this value equal to delta d angle will call as del theta so first i will write down for del theta del b divided by 2 del c divided by 3.5 del d divided by 5 i'll draw horizontal line now go to the definition of problem your definition says that for d e f g we are support where fy it 
means that the remaining part you have to rotate about what? Fy. So you have to rotate about Fy. So already D part has come upward. So when it go like this, it will go this way. This one is D. And this one is Dg. Del phi. First of all, del phi equals to what? Del G divided by what? 2. Del E divided by 1.5 and del D divided by del D divided by 3 will give you relation between del theta and del phi. So from this term, what is del D? Is it phi times del theta? From this one, what is del D? Phi times del theta. And from this one, what is del D? 3 times del phi. Got it? So what is del phi? Del phi is phi by 3 of del theta. For every problem, del theta will not be equal to del phi because they are different angles. Method is clear. How I obtain this equation is clear. Next. Show external forces. That is 20 downward, 40 downward and 15 downward. Now apply principle of virtual work. Check one by one. By del B is positive value. Twenty delta C is negative value because they are acting in opposite direction. No force acting at D, so we'll skip this. Forty and delta E is negative combination. Fifteen and delta G both are acting downward is positive combination. What is delta B? Delta B is 2 times delta D. 20. What is delta, delta C? 3.5 times delta D. Minus 40. Delta E. Delta E is defined with respect to what? Phi. So is 1.5 of delta phi. Plus 15. Del G is defined with respect to phi. So 2 times delta phi. We are not able to cancel delta D and del phi. So to replace del phi again. So continue this by into 1.5 and what is del phi is phi by 3. So this one is 5 divided by 3 del theta plus 15 into 2. What is del phi is 5 divided by 3 into del theta. Now this time you can very well cancel del theta. And you can check your answer of E Y. Six zero. Answer is six zero. So I will write my answer is six two.